Welcome to uh, this quick tutorial for Nano Studio 2. This will be a tutorial that looks at how to create sidechain compression in Nano Studio 2. You know, the effect that uh, pumping or ducking sound that uh, we've all become accustomed to when listening to dance tracks. We'll look at how to set that up easily in Nano Studio 2, but we'll also sort of touch on some creative ways you can use sidechain compression. It's not just for that dancey sounding effect. And hopefully by seeing that, you can maybe kickstart your own creative uses in your own mixes. All right, so what we have here is just a simple hip hop beat with a little bit of noise layered on top. All right, we're gonna want to sort of duck the noise on every kick beat. So we'll first go to the noise track and add a compressor move it up to the top so it's before the other effects and then going back to the track we'll look at our drum track and we'll send the entire drum track so kick snare hats to the compressor sidechain as you see here in the send dialog we'll go to the destination so we can get right to that compressor in the audio effects and so we don't get any ducking until we move the threshold down and we'll just fiddle with this a little bit. There, you hear it a little bit there. Um, but the problem is, is that the ducking is happening not just on the kick drum, it's happening on the snare and the hats. So we use this handy little low pass or also high pass filter knob as a dual function there. And we'll low pass only the kick. Basically, only the kick is going to be occurring in the 90 hertz range, or probably even higher than that. So let's just put around there, 90 hertz, and that should only pass the kick drum and allow you basically to isolate the kick in order to just duck on the kick. All right? Sometimes you may need to make it a little bit more pronounced to see what you're doing. All right, so the way I use that there is kind of similar to how you normally would hear a sidechain compression, especially on something like effects or noise, is just to pump and duck um, whenever a kick occurs and sort of fill the gaps between the kicks. But what I'm going to show you right now is sort of the reverse of that, an interesting effect to create. So I'm going to mute this track, the noise track. I'm going to go back to my kick and drum track the slate instrument. What I'm going to do is I'm going to low pass filter by going to the effects bus. Oops. Here, low pass filter this. Just to get a really nice warm sub heavy kick. And I'll shorten that. Try to keep these samples long so that you can easily shorten them. All right, so that's a really clean and punchy, low sounding kick. But sometimes, especially with hip hop, you want to uh, add a little bit of grime, you know, a little bit of dirt to that. So we can use side chain in a sort of more dynamic way than you might normally. So we'll unmute the noise track. I'm going to make this sound more like static. And we'll go back to the compressor that's being sidechained there. And so yeah, the, uh, the noise is basically occurring between the beats. But if we use this expander option here, what this will do is this will actually increase, it will basically be the reverse of, of normal compression sidechain. It will, instead of duck the noise, it will ex uh, expand it or push it upwards. So we can use that to introduce noise like a little bit of almost like a vinyl grit to the kick here. You can play around with the threshold to sort of get a better effect. Effect the decay sort of. And 
And this mix knob here is interesting because what we can do is we can sort of introduce sort of the original signal back into the mix. You know, this makes the effect a lot more subtle and keeps that noise between the beats. That sounds pretty good. And now I'm going to turn to the bass as another usage of sidechain. You might hear how that bass is actually kind of conflicting with the kick drum, right? They're almost kind of occupying the same frequency range. So one thing we can do is we can duck the bass a bit and get it all to sort of play nice. So I'll go to that bass track, add a compressor as before, and send from the kick again, much the same way as we did before. A compressor sidechain. And here we go. You can already hear that moving out of the way of the kick. I guess it's sort of the point is if you layer your side chaining with a bunch of different subtle effects, it can sort of add up to a much more dramatic, uh, more dynamic mix, you know? So anyways, this was just a little quick tip on how to use sidechain compression in Nano Studio 2. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.